Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm working with the Graphic 45's World Fair collection. This is a beautiful collection from Graphic 45, and it's a new collection. I have some of the 6x6, the 8x8, and 12x12 that I'm showing you here, and they're all double-sided, and they also have their cut-aparts that Graphic 45 always includes in their papers. It's a beautiful collection. Here is some of the chipboard from the same collection. It's the Chipboard 2, and they have some really beautiful images on them. So I'm just deciding now which of the 12 by 12 paper I want to use, and I'm going to repurpose this flower container. This had Prima flowers in it, and now that I've used all the flowers, I wanted to go ahead and um, recycle this. So I didn't measure the diameter of the container. I just kind of wrapped it around and cut off about an inch off the side just to make sure that it overlapped. I did measure the height and I measured it at seven inches and I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing with this at the time. If I would have known then I didn't need a full seven inches. I could have probably cut it down to about four inches because I do end up adding more paper to the bottom of this but at this time I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I'm using some one half inch angel craft tape. I wanted a strong adhesive to wrap around and I'm adding it to the ends of my paper. And I'm just going to simply wrap it around, overlap it, make sure that it's even and adhere it down. It doesn't matter at this point where my seam is. And I'm just making sure that the bottom and the top line up perfectly before I press it down. So now I decided I wanted to add more of the beautiful paper. So I'm using scraps that I had. And this time I will make sure that my seams match up perfectly. So I'm adding my tape first and then I'm going to wrap it around. And once I'm happy with where the seam is, I will hold it on there, remove the tape backing, and then press it down. That way it doesn't move while I adhere it. And this way I can make sure that my seams match up perfectly in the back. Doing the exact same thing with this other scrap piece of paper. Adding a little bit of wet adhesive as well, just to give it a little extra strength so it doesn't move. And again, I'm just making sure it lines up from top to bottom. Here I'm just showing you that my seam runs perfectly down the entire back of it. And I'll make sure that's the back of my container once I'm done. So I'm going to use another strip of scrap piece of paper and adhere it to the lid of that. I did not want to leave it um, the way it was. It looks better that it's covered. So I'm using the one quarter inch Angel Craft Tape, adding it to a few of the places and again, lining up my seam so it matches perfectly the entire way down. And I'm just removing the tape backing as I'm going. For the lid of this, I just measured it out and I cut out a three inch circle using my Silhouette Cameo. You can use any die cutting machine you have or a punch or just a template and cut it out yourself and add that to the top. That way it just finishes the top off perfectly. And now I'm pulling out some of the chipboard too. I'm going to punch out several of the tags that, that I like that I think I may use on this. And in the end, I use almost all of them um, and I even add a couple as well. So I'm just punching out those circle pieces and throwing those away. And now I'm going to add a little bit of lace with some hot glue just to give it a little more texture. And then I will simply add my chipboard and some beautiful flowers to finish it off. So I will let you sit back and enjoy the process. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and please check out Cut at Home's blog. I'll have more detailed photos on there along with links to the products that I've used in today's project. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.